Hi everybody, this is V and welcome to Designs by V. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hi everybody, this is V and welcome to Designs by V. I I am showing you what I was able to do with the lamp um the one the darker one is how i purchase it the one with the brass is how i was able to refurbish it and could you tell me <laughs> if you like the um if you like the candelier that's the one that um has more uh the brass more than um the one that has the light on it okay the electrical light and um they both were is the same and they had electrical light but i took it apart to clean it i took one apart to clean it already and that's the one that has it's all with um brass and um crystal the darker one is the original one the lighter one is the um one that i redid tell me should i leave it as a candelier or as uh, the one with the electrical light So here we are with the both of them. I know the electrical one sends off a lot more light. I am going to go ahead and clean up the, the electrical one. The one that ha still has the electrical one because the both of them came, came the same. Which one do you like? better should i rewire it back that's the one with the brass all brass now the one that got clean up or should i leave it with the candle i think i know the answer but this was what i was able to clean it up and this is how it looks with the um candles my reason for thinking I should not rewire it back is because I'll be able to put it on the table, you know, in like a tablescape without the obstruction of the, the cord. So tell me what you think. So I am showing you now the repurpose or the ups upcycle brass lamp brass um candle holders that i was able to in my mind turn into more of a classic bling look um the three in the middle was just regular candle stand. As you will see in my previous video, I took one apart. And uh, as you see, they're matching each other, but it did not come with the mob of base, that white base. I found something else that I was able to take, take it apart, sorry, take it apart. And then I glued the bottom off let me see if i can show you with a finger this one i glue the bottom on with e6000 um this one here this one here has a bottom of a lamp and there's a rod run up the middle of it that's how i was able to attach the crystal the crystal shade onto it. 
So I know it might be a bit complicated. This piece right here is original to this right here. Maybe once I start putting it together, I will show you what it was before I turn it into something else. Um, this gold piece, this bronze piece on top of this one is original to this, this, um, this lamp, this, um, candle, the, the, um, tool spring. It's original, the glass ball in the middle and the, the candle, the, yeah, the two candle, um, candle stand it's original to the gold piece only that is sitting on this piece right here and this piece i know it's difficult this piece belong on the the marble piece right here that i'm showing you i know it's a bit complicated but i hope you understand um, once I start putting it together, I will take everything apart, show you how the original piece was and how I was able to revamp it. Okay, so my previous video, that's the one that is up right now, this is going to come second, show you how they look. Like, it's not the exact way that I was styling it, but... I'm just showing you how they look. Once I start styling it and I mention it, if you see in the video, you will recognize what I'm talking about. And as you see, this one doesn't look too far from the other. I like this one as it's different with the aging, but I was able, I took it off of this because I really like the marble and the brass in the bottom. But I want to show you, once I start putting it together, I was able to make a vase using a crystal. Actually, I have a video on it, lamps into vase. And I was able to find a huge Rutherford um, crystal vase. And I drilled a hole in it and I made a big, beautiful vase. So in the future, I could show this to you. Okay, so this was the other piece that I showed you yesterday and I um, finally put it together so you could see how it looked. Originally, I was telling you I bought the um, middle piece and what attracted me to it is, I said it in the other video, it remind me of the justice um, sign, um, symbol. Um, Lady Justice is blind, but justice is uneven. Um, my husband is an attorney, so that was the reason why my mind drew to that. And um, the thought was when I purchased it that I could display it in his office, put a little glam there. Um, at first I was looking for, um, like some brass pieces that I could make the, the scale of it, the, where the crystal piece, where the glass plastic pieces are. Um, I purchased these two, these two pieces here from Ross. And as if you look at it real good, I didn't realize they were two different size, but like I said, if, if you think in positive, every spoil could be a style. It's just what you want to achieve. So I didn't let it bother me. But do you see where I was going with this? Like that could be part of, you know, yes, it's a man's office. But if a man is secure, you could throw a little, you know, sparkle in there. The middle is crystal. But the end pieces, it was... Uh, two dollars i think it was a like it was on sale but like two dollars and two dollars and change from ross and actually it is turned the other way it is turned actually the top is what i used to make the top is actually the bottom of it it came with chains and the chains was hooked at where you see the crystals are dripping it was at the 
three ends of it with the chain and I took the chain off. I don't know if I'll add the chain back, but for now, this is how it look. Yes, the middle part of the, what I'm calling the justice sign, that was thrifted. And I think if it wasn't a dollar five, it was two or five, something like that. This piece here that I'm showing you, this is a totally different piece. I haven't shown that. This is Rutherford Crystal. This also was thrifted. And if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember the exact, either $4 or $8 I paid for it. It's a bit dusty right now. And I mean, you can still see the beauty in it. But it originally was a lamp. But I did not like it as a lamp. I rather it as an urn, as just a nice little display piece. Sometimes I may want to put it in a tablescape. Imagine your chandelier is sending light down and you have light on either side. I think this would look lovely. Look at, let me see if I can zoom you in. Look at all the beautiful details on this just lovely just just lovely and like i said it was either four dollars or eight dollars crystal i could also take it apart and use it as a vase where i could put flowers on the top of it so going forward i know i'm new to you know youtube going forward you will see some of the things that god you know, bless me like with a crafty mind. And I'm very appreciative of it because I could see something that, you know, look, is tarnished and thrown away like this piece right here. And it was not what I really wanted, but it had the structure and I could see it into this over there. Beautiful. Here is the Rutherford lamp. I looked it up. It's 350 or 4,500. I don't know which is the one that I have, but here's pictures of it. Actually, as we're doing this, let me pan up for you. See these pieces right here? Actually, the one that looked like the vase, that was brown. Um the two pieces in the middle that was black and the one on the side that was also black and i sprayed it white and then i did the etching on it look at how the gold look at how the gold looks see and you could see the etching on it why the gold is much brighter on the one that looks like the vase is because I did not put a coat of um, a, um, clay acrylic paint sealer. I did not put it on this one. I put it on these here and what it did, it kind of toned it down into a dull bronze. But the one that is not treated, it just has the paint on it where I went over it. It has a brighter gold, so maybe in the near future, I may bring it all together. This is another piece that I have to show you. This piece, I hold it near and dear. I just love the structure of it. I, there's a little bit of a background on this piece. When I lived in New Jersey, every Saturday morning, I went to see what the thrift store had because a mother would, at the time I had, I think four children, maybe even five. Um, that's when I could get the time when everyone is home to, you know, to go to the thrift store and do my little thing on a Saturday. So every Saturday I would go to this one thrift store and this piece was just sitting there and I asked the man, I said, sir, how much is this piece here? He said, it's not for sale as a display. But every Saturday, I will go back. Sometime with a hat. <laughs> yes, I was trying to trick him. Sometime with a hat. And sometimes I did put on an accent too, hoping that he don't remember who I was. 
and I will ask him the same question. Um, excuse me. Um, how much is that piece in the window? Or the next time, excuse me, sir. Could you tell me how much is the piece in the window? <laughs> no, I am. I had many different accents. Now that I'm laughing, it's going to be hard for me to do it for you. And I will. I just wanted that piece. My mind. Everything was on that piece. I dreamt about this piece. I wanted this piece. And he would not let me have it. He said it's on display. So one Saturday, I went back because the store was only open on a Saturday. And I said, sir, I've been looking at this piece for a long time. And it's just sitting in the window. It will be better you know, with someone that really likes it and will take care of it. And I know the person. And he started, he softened up and he started laughing. And he said to me, in how many, in how many different accents did you ask me about the piece? So now I'm standing there looking at him like, oh my God. He knew I was trying to trick him. He said, you came in dressed with hats. He just went along with like everything that I tried to do. He said he was having fun with me. He said, but you know what? You're right. It need to go home with someone that really likes it. Because it was like for over like six months, I would go in and ask him about this piece. And I did not give up. And finally, he told me, he said, you know what? Take it. $20. I was so happy. That was the only piece that I got that day. And I took it and I went home with it. Um, for years, I had it in the house, shined it up. And um, finally, like no, one day, I think my niece Amelia, when she was about four years old, her father was laid on the couch and he kicked it down. It had a cherub right on the top here and I still have the cherub. It's a little look like a little chubby little angel. I still have the piece. So I moved from New Jersey to Tennessee and I still have this piece. And one day I end up looking it up. And to my amazement, it's a French piece. And this is the piece, is a 19th century French brass piece. And if you stop the video, you could see some of the price that it was appraised for 40 years ago. I will get a clipping of it and insert it for you. And I was shocked to find out the cost of it. I will, I wouldn't tell you, I will insert the picture and you could look it up. It's from... It's from a dynasty, it's a French dynasty, and I only know the research that I did. Um, I'm going to leave that alone. You could look it up if you care. And what it is, is brass. All brass. Let me zoom in for you. This is all brass, honey. Yes, it made it home with me, and it has... Beautiful artwork, like design all the way around. Look at the handle. Yes, brass. So this is the story about this lamp. And when I found out how much it cost and I told my daughter, she was like, mommy, keep it. Here is another piece that I made. The bottom base, I found it in a store in New Jersey. The top piece that holds the candle holds the crystal piece I it's from another bronze lamp and the glass pieces I was able to drill holes in them they're they're just candle like tea light candle stand I was able to drill holes through them and um, make get you know screw in the ends of it and make um look like something in a Disney movie right but I do plan, I did plan to do a little bit more with it because I found some other pieces of glass that I'm going to take the, some of the, like one of the leg off and make something else with. So going forward, you will see like more that I do with these little things that 
burst in my head and I have to do something with it. Well, um, this is another piece that I took apart and everything is from something else that I was able to make lights out of. I did not re I did not wire it as yet because I didn't, you know, I didn't know how it was going to look. It's just something that I put together. These, I purchased four of them from the Goodwill for $1.99. And these are glass shades. I did, okay, this is what this is. And the top piece is from a pendant light. No, it's from a small chandelier that I paid $4 for, as you see it. It's from a small chandelier. Pay four dollars for it. I took the wire out. I also have the wire, still have the wire pieces for it. This here is from a small lamp. <laughs> this here is a plate that I drilled a hole in, and as you see, the metal is run down the middle. This is for a lamp that I bought for it, but the piece ended up getting broken, so I add this piece. But I'm going to in putting it together. I'm going to redo it. This piece here, I think you could recognize this. This is from a regular, is a lamp, a table lamp that I took apart and feed it through the rod. I already had the hole in it. And this is the feet. This is the feet of it. And this also came from a table lamp that I took it apart and did this to it. I know my brother always told me when I take things apart and like repurpose it for something else, he always said to me, they're going to put you in jail. <laughs> so this here is um, a better look at what I was able to do. But like I said, the top upper part, I'm going to take it out and get the matching bottom to make it a little bit more cohesive and once i wire it i will show you what it looks like and see it has a glass shade i just figure you know you know, i i could leave it as is and turn it into a um a candle -y. i could do that and actually the heaviest piece is this in the middle here and once i take it apart what I'll do is turn that piece into a vase and I'll also show you because this piece here is crystal and this one here is glass. This is another piece that I purchased at a thrift store and cleaned it out, rewire it. And um, what I regret about this piece and I'm going to I'm going to have to take it apart again because instead of I use a barkeeper friend and shine the brass, I thought I could have gotten a better goal out of it. So I sprayed this piece and now I don't like it. So I'm going to take this whole thing apart again and redo it. This piece, I think I paid $4 for it. Look at the detail on this. And this is crystal. Crystal, yes. And I could also, if I don't want to use this as a lamp, use it as a vase. If I may say so myself, yes. Lovely pieces. Look at this. I could absolutely use this as a vase. And for crystal, and for this to be, I think I had a four, eight dollars. Perfect. This piece here was a purchase from Raw Stores. They are crystal. Um, I don't know what grade of crystal, but it's not as the Rotterford piece, I know that much. But it has some beautiful cuts on it. See the cuts? And it's a candelier, and it has three um, candle area to it. This one, I am going to upcycle this one a bit um, once I um, get the chance to set up and use it. As you know, I'm packing. 
to uh, move so if the move take place soon you know and looking for this home then you will see it soon um this piece here was i think 49.99 piece and i was able to watch it and watch it and you know look at it until it after the christmas holiday it came out around christmas time um in two different stores i found it one a half an hour from each other and i was able to pick them up for 29.99 each at that price i did say to my husband Oh, I'm going to leave it to see if it go low. Then I did, you know, one of those exorcist turn with my head. Girl, this is not going to be there. <laughs> and this is the look. So that's just a few in my packing. Actually, there I'm going to pack this in the last, last minute. Oh, this is something that I have to um, show you. Able to revamp. The one thing that I regret is spray painting it. I also found a, a glass bowl. It's not screwed on. A glass bowl that I drilled a hole in. And it's a crystal bowl. It sit on something else. And I drilled a hole in it. And... It had um, the rim around here was missing. Hopefully I could find that one that I could add some crystal because the glass is very delicate. So I wouldn't take the chance to put holes here. I mean, you never know. But this piece right here, I was able to repurpose this. That looked like it was some light fixture or a bowl for something. But I was able to drill a hole on the top of it. Yeah, I kind of, kind of crack it a little bit, drilling the hole. Then I run some, good, <laughs> some um, glue on it. You can, I mean, when you get up real close, you could tell. And these are my little hacks that my brother and my husband look at me like, what you going to do next, girl? What you going to do? And I look at them like, stuff. <laughs> so thanks. I, I didn't want to make this a long video, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that, you know, God blessed me with this crafty mind and think out of the box. And I just love creating things or making things so i will say goodbye for now this is v and my channel is designs by v thank you so much for watching and like i told you i have lots more for you and i wish i had taken you through the journey of me making some of these things or i took pictures before and after in some of them because I just never thought I would end up on YouTube like the, it's just, I, I just didn't think so. And then I was finally pushed by my daughter, Melissa, and here I am. And I absolutely love it. The response has been great. Thank you all guys so, 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 so much. I cannot express it enough. I, it's like one of my dream. I used to do commentating on, you know, watch HGTV and do like, you know, talk about decorating and talk about putting things together and making things. And YouTube has given us a platform to do this. Like, ain't God good? If you could dream a dream, he could dream, he could give you a bigger one. Anyway, bye. Love y'all. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Turn your notification bell on that when I upload videos, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you.